One of the most controversial yet often talked about things is if you need a mentor or not. Everywhere we look, we have people praising their mentors or giving fame to someone who was an expert in a field who taught them how to do X. But in this video, we're gonna cover if you really need a mentor or if it's just hype. Let's dive into it in today's video. Now, before we continue, make sure to subscribe so you get updated with videos just like this as soon as they come out. Now, mentors can come in many shapes and sizes. You don't necessarily need to be working just with one person. When we think about mentors, we often think about the disciple and the mentor, the person who's teaching them their way. You know, we think about the Greek philosophers and how they were the mentor and the mentee was the one under them who then became the next amazing Greek philosopher. But nowadays, we have the availability of information. We have all these things which give us access to mentors in many different shapes and sizes. Number one, the traditional mentor. Now this is someone who will mentor you through what they've been through, through their experiences, their failures, all of it. That would be coaching, it'd be like me coaching you in order to either make sure that you don't sit make the same mistakes that I made or that you can get somewhere a lot quicker because I have the skills and the tool set that you need in order to get from point A to B. See, this is what we commonly think of as a mentor and yes, it is incredibly useful. Going directly to the source, learning right from the person and helping them adjust what you're doing to make it so you don't make those same mistakes that they made when they were on the rise is so important. Yet, it isn't the only way to do things and there becomes a bit of a bias in the information from the person that you're learning from. So when we talked about questioning everything, we talked about triangulating information and how it's so important to get multiple sources of information to find what your truth really is, right? When Bigley in that book with Scott Adams, he's talking about how we see multiple realities. You know, when you look at Fox News and you look at CNN, you see literally the same story covered two different ways. And it happens over and over again. Now, with a mentor, a lot of times what happens is we get clouded in our mindset and what we're seeing because we're learning just from one person. So what I do have to say is when you're getting traditional mentorship, it's really good to make sure that you're complementing it with some other mentor who can give you the same information in a different route. Maybe that's a course, maybe that's a book, whatever it is, by utilizing those other resources or a different mentor, you're gonna make sure that you're getting a full complete picture versus one person's bias, versus the expert bias, or whatever your mentor is teaching you the way to do it that way. Now, number two is books or courses. And I know I just brought that up real quick, but one of the main things that we have available to us today, whether it's going on Amazon or it's searching the web, is to find books and courses for almost anything that you wanna learn. In my new little mini course, I talk about the four raw materials that you need to start and make sure that you have success at anything. If you haven't already joined that, make sure to join that below, it's completely free. But getting courses like that, making sure that you can find the right books, the right materials, all this information is so easy. To be mentored by someone virtually, right, without actual one-on-one -on -one personal communication, what you can do is download all their previous audiobooks, make sure to get all of their podcasts, and make sure to really dive into how they think, because you can use all of their material that they put out to really understand how they think right now, and then from there, adjust your thinking or really go off on the same route that they were. And then what you do is you learn from the source of who they learned from, and you can follow that up all the way to the ladder and find your mentors, mentor, mentor, mentor. And I know this isn't personal one-on-one -on -one mentoring, but this is another way to really get that information and help cement it within you. And lastly, number three is actually nature and your environment around you. So this is gonna sound a bit weird, but Using nature, using the environment around you is such an easy way to actually get mentored from how life and things work, right? It's a different mindset, of course, because it's not a mentor correcting what you're doing, but it's the ability to see what happens in life. Use that to your ability and let life mentor you. Now, this is an abstract concept, of course, but by getting good at this, you'll be able to see that in different animals, there's different ways of moving, flight patterns, different ways of thinking, predation, and you'll be able to adjust and think about that for yourself. You know, Ido Portel loves to use different animalistic movements, and he does that by studying how these different animals work and then incorporating that into his own movement practice, which then allows him to really put on how the animal's working and feel through the different body mechanics that go on. Now the same can happen from going around older people and really getting a sense of time and how they function throughout time, how they think about everything. That's a mentorship on its own. It's our nature, it's our environment, and it's really how you see the bigger picture of things. Can you use that as a way to mentor you through life 
to make sure that you don't care about the small things. You know, I was listening to Alan Watts last night and he was talking about how Zen Buddhism, the Zen Buddhist master is like, I'm not gonna teach you anything. You're supposed to teach me because it's a different nature in reality, right? We're thinking different. He's not their mentor because then they don't have Zen. And so by understanding that and by really learning from your environment, from nature, from the animals around you, from all of this, you can understand things better. Bruce Lee loves studying water because water adapts to almost every environment. Water can be the most chaotic thing in the world or it can be the most peaceful. I mean, look at Washington and the mountains that were created just from a glacier melting and water running over it. So that is the third one. It is nature and your environment around you. Now, this is a quick video, but the question is, do you need a personal one-on-one -on -one mentor? No, you don't, but you have to understand that what is going to happen when you have a personal one-on-one -on -one is you're gonna have your mistakes corrected almost immediately by the person above you or the person really helping you. On the other hand, you can definitely learn and get tons of information from books, from programs, from courses, from going to meetups, from doing all these things and studying nature around you. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If it helped you in any way, make sure to press like, comment below with who you want your ideal mentor to be. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future and I'll see you soon.